if you are able, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 31 through 32. If you have a Bible, please go there. Okay. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. What do you believe that is saying there? Let me say this first, though. I believe we should be perfect. Although, as humans, I believe we are going to make mistakes. Okay. I believe there can be a person that has been living for God for many years. And if you look deep enough in that person's life, I feel you will find out that person isn't perfect. Yes, that person may be doing much good. That person may be, I guess I can say, bearing. That person may have good attributes. But I believe if you look deep enough in that person's life, I feel you will find error. So we may not be perfect, but I believe we should strive, strive for perfection. Me, yes, I may be doing well in this area and this area, blah, 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 blah. But there are times I make mistakes. So am I perfect? In an earthly sense, no. But in a spiritual sense, I am. Why? Because I believe I am striving for perfection. Look. I believe if you are striving for perfection, I believe you are seen spiritually perfect, if you understand what I am trying to say to you. In an earthly sense, no, because in an earthly sense, people may say to be perfect, you can't do no wrong. But in a spiritual sense, I don't think it means that. Okay, for if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. So what do you believe that is saying there? Okay, if we try to do what is right, yes, we may make mistakes, but if we try to do what is right, I believe this is saying, we don't have to be punished, judged. So verse 32, but when we are judged, okay, we are chastened. So we are what? Disciplined, punished of the Lord, of Jesus Christ, that we should not be condemned with the word. I mean, with the world. So I believe verse 32 is saying, if we don't examine ourselves, if we choose to do wrong purposely, if we choose to go around doing things that we know is wrong and not try to change it as in like you may know lying, cheating, fornication, adultery, stealing, c 
cussing, getting drunk, and probably doing more things is wrong. But let's say, hey, what is that <laughs> acronym or whatever that saying is? You only live once or whatever silly thing that is. Maybe I should not say silly. I'm sorry. God, please forgive me for my sins. Whatever. Yeah, you only live once. Now, if you living based upon that. Won't punishments come to you? Kevin, I know I am doing wrong, but I only have one life, so I am going to enjoy my life as much as I can. So, yes, I know doing these things are wrong, but I am going to have fun. So if you think in that way and act upon it, aren't you inviting trouble? So I believe verse 32 is saying God is going to punish you when you choose to do wrong purposely, not because he is a mean God, not because he is this rude, mean d dictator. I believe he is doing it to save you so that you won't be condemned with the world. The world is who? I believe the world is people who are choosing to do wrong. So where do you think people who choose to do wrong when they know to do right, where do you believe they are going to go? I believe hell. So I believe verse 32 is saying, God is punishing you so that you can change your ways and get right with him as in being obedient to him so that he doesn't have to send you to hell. So if you think about it, if bad things are happening in your life now, and if it is beginning or have changed you, is that bad thing really bad? If a bad thing bears good fruit, is it really bad? Myself, I believe so many bad things happened to me in my past. And I think much of it brought me closer to God. So if that is the case, were those bad things really bad? In a sense, I guess, I don't think so. So I think it is good for bad things to come to you if you choose to live separate I guess I can say, from Jesus Christ. Because would you rather have a perfect life doing whatever you want to do, doing evil, God not punishing you for it, then when you die, you go straight to hell. Do you want that? Like, how long are we going to be on this earth? Maybe 80 years or so. So are you willing to sacrifice, I guess, your e eternity in a good place for 80 years on this earth? Quit playing. Let me stop here. God bless you.